you maximize the whole square footage that's required? Do we build as much as we can? All of that is tempting because as a developer, it's bottom line, right? I think uh, Ayala was very enlightened not to not to go that route, leaving enough room for traffic issues, for spaces that, that are for public use, that are not necessarily sellable areas, but make the quality of life and the project really sing. Over the years, we've born direct witness to that kind of a philosophy, and uh, we're very happy about that. I think it's responsible development, basically. In the late 60s, of course, uh, the palette of materials that was available to the Filipino architect is very narrow. Reinforced concrete was very appropriate for the region and for our country in particular. In terms of sustainability, it was plentiful. Uh, you just had to be creative with how you used it. Because the employment actually is this very deep pre uh, the shapes on the on the face of the building that create shadows, and effectively what happens is the sun runs across the face of the building. Those pre actually cast shadows, and so it makes for a very cool building. It spoke to us about uh, sort of uh, uh, the dual role of a museum: one being a repository the other one being sort of having a public face and being very open, transparent. We think it's a very people-friendly museum in that way. It invites people to just sit and hang. We employed sort of this idea of fins. They throw the same principle as sort of the, the old brisoles. They begin to throw shadows onto the surface of the building, depending on where the sun is, to cool the building, to keep the temperature down. You reduce mechanical loads that way. And that building features basically, again, uh, double plane, low E glass. That was actually one of the first in the country at the time. Tower 2 takes building technology, I think, to its limit. A tremendous amount of design technology and sustainable practices. Uh, environmentally responsible practices were brought in. Officially, that's a building that's going for LEED certification, and we're quite sure that it will end up being actually rated quite highly. The quality of the glass, the low E glass, low uh, heat uh, emissivity, etc., will be virtually ensured in a very comfortable environment. Around 1968, the plan was 12 buildings to occupy to cover the entire triangle, making it the most valuable, most critical sort of part of Ayala's portfolio. In an enlightened way, Ayala took into consideration the fact that the role of the triangle had changed over time. It had become, by default almost, sort of the living room of the city. If you value sort of the events of the past as having some factor in informing what the future might look like in order to achieve a more enlightened, better future, you have to value history to begin with. But that's only part of the equation. You have to have the commitment to incorporating basically the past into the way going forward.